Do you live in a country where you are free to express an opinion that deviates from the prevailing view promoted by society, media, or government? Present reality, however, points to that freedom being only a perception. We often think that wide-scale censorship, which can include punishment, is only the preserve of dictatorships or nations ruled by oppressive regimes. Today, renowned experts in their field are being humiliated and cancelled if they do not accept popular activist opinion, even if that opinion is wrong. It seems that in our present Western society, certain notions, ideas, or lifestyles that are diametrically opposite to beliefs held by the society only a few years ago are being forced on whole populations. These range from ideas on national history and patriotism to radical new notions on gender and even extreme interpretations of what is environmentally appropriate, with no consideration for the potential havoc on personal or national economy. When it comes to matters of history or science, such forced dogma can serve to severely distort reality. Some famous experts are ignored or cancelled if they speak out in opposition to newly promoted ideas. A good example is that renowned scientists who have questioned the present climate theory that man-made CO2 is causing global warming are being cancelled without regard for their expertise or scholarship. Consider Dr. John Clauser, winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2022, and considered one of the top theoretical physicists in the world today. He is also a noted expert in mathematical modeling. Clauser, in June 2023, stated, I don't believe there is a climate crisis. His belief is based upon analytics showing that the mathematical modeling used by the climate crisis community is deeply flawed. He stated, The popular narrative about climate change reflects a dangerous corruption of science that threatens the world's economy and the well-being of billions of people. The result? In July 2023, Clauser was scheduled to present a seminar on climatic models to a meeting of the International Monetary Fund. With knowledge of his position on climate change, his speech was abruptly cancelled without notice or reason. Nobel Prize winner in physics. Cancelled. Consider Dr. Ivor Giever, Nobel Prize in Physics 1973 received for his discoveries regarding semiconductors and superconductors. He is also another noted expert in mathematical modeling. The World Climate Declaration, of which Giever is lead signatory, stated that climate models were not remotely plausible as global policy tools. On July 1, 2015, Dr. Giever spoke to a group of Nobel laureates and demonstrated how the mathematical model used to support human-caused climate change was faulty. He asserted that the effect of CO2 was being exaggerated and that activists ignored the known benefits of additional CO2 in the ecosystem. He referred to climate change as a new religion, driven by a dogma that could not be challenged. Giever was accused of not being a climate scientist and therefore not capable of speaking on the topic, but they ignored his expertise in mathematical modeling. Neither his vast knowledge nor his reputation would be accepted. He was cancelled and subjected to name-calling and ridicule. Italian physicist Antonino Zacchichi holds Italy's highest honor the Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. In 2019, he led a group of 48 Italian science professors who stated that human responsibility for climate change is unjustifiably exaggerated and catastrophic predictions are not realistic. Natural variation explains a substantial part of global warming observed since 1850. Zakiki was also one of the signatories to a January 27, 2012 Wall Street Journal article which stated, There's no compelling scientific argument for drastic action to decarbonize the world's economy. 
Again, this highly awarded scientist and his colleagues became the subject of abuse and attempts were made to discredit and humiliate them. Cancelled. Professor Dr. Richard Lindzen, MIT, is a climate scientist and holder of many positions and honors in the field of climate science. He, with a large group of 1,100 climate scientists and related professionals, signed a declaration in 2022 called the World Climate Declaration, which stated, There is no climate emergency. Therefore, there is no cause for panic and alarm. We strongly oppose the harmful and unrealistic net zero CO2 policy proposed for 2050. The Mercury, January 23, 2023, reports, Lindzen rejects climate change as a quasi-religious movement predicated on an absurd scientific narrative. This presented the climate crisis folks with a problem. These were climate scientists of renown and they could not be dismissed just as ignorant Nobel Prize winning physicists. It could not be tolerated. The much published Lindzen was then fact-checked by MIT staff, by those with less expertise who were to lead a process of censure against the learned professor. Despite the fact that hundreds of climate experts signed a letter defending Lindzen, he was cancelled. Regardless of what one's opinion may be on the whole climate issue, any reasonable person should be concerned that dissenting views from experts are being willfully suppressed and the dissenters are often humiliated and cancelled. At the same time, non-experts, politicians, celebrities, and high school activists are providing advice on global policies that will impact every person on Earth. This is behavior one might have associated with the Inquisition of the Middle Ages or the anti-intellectual purchase of the Red Guard mobs during the Maoist Cultural Revolution. How did this suppression of opinion arise? What's next? Perhaps they will come after you because of your political or maybe even your religious beliefs. Will you be silenced? Check out our video, Inquisition and Activism. You'll find the link in the description below. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And for more content like this, please visit our website at tomorrowsworldviewpoint.org.